Our world is changing and we're in uncharted territory as the climate system is gaining heat everywhere. In the first hundred years of the Industrial Revolution, that's 1750 to 1850, the total amount of carbon dioxide we as humans produced adds up to only seven weeks of emissions at today's rates. Seven trillion tonnes of ice melted off Greenland and Antarctica in only 20 years. Seven trillion tonnes. Every tenth of a degree of warming adds to the number of heat waves, droughts and floods we experience. At two degrees of warming, the Great Barrier Reef and all tropical coral reefs will be gone. In New Zealand, the fire season is set to double or triple in length in eastern parts of the country. Indigenous communities around the world and across Te Moana Nui Akiwa are facing the reality of climate change. Loss of land, loss of language, loss of culture and loss of life. We are guaranteed at least half a metre of sea level rise this century, and that will put billions of dollars of infrastructure and property at risk. The Hutt Valley will flood more often, and at the same time, rising sea levels will push up the water table, making it harder for Te Awa Kairangi to drain the floodwaters away. With two degrees of warming, major floods in Te Awa Kairangi would happen three times more often than they do now. The sooner we slow global warming, the less damage there will be to us and to all ecosystems. If any country in the world can do this, it's us, New Zealand. And within New Zealand, Lower Hutt can be a leader in the community response, helping to inspire others and to make the change we need.